You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the options playbook, the program where we break down cutting edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the options playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. Now, let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, L.I. Invest Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. Last week, we took a time out to answer some listener questions, and this week, we're going to get right back on the saddle and start talking about option strategies. We're fastly approaching uh, earnings season. As a matter of fact, the FANG stocks are going to be coming out next week. But prior to that, uh, the first ones that's kicking it off is Netflix on the 17th. I'm going to look at a simple trade that's we're a little bit away from earnings. Right now, we are taping Options Playbook Radio, and it is <coughs> the 4th. It is a Wednesday. The market has closed, so it's April 4th, Wednesday. And I'm going to look at a trade that's going to avoid earnings. We don't want to go into this trade because of earnings. I'm, it's going to take advantage of some of the high-priced volatility that we've had in the marketplace, and it's going to be a very simple trade. We know earnings are are coming on this underlying stock, and that stock is United Healthcare Group. Symbol is UNH. And we're going to do a butterfly, a very short term explosive butterfly, and hope that the market uh, volatility will just calm down for a little bit, and specifically on this underlying stock. I mean, the concept in general is as you go into earnings, stocks will kind of slow down waiting for that earnings report and then they're going to then they blow up after that uh and go north south east or west but as far as this strategy is concerned that's what we're trying to take advantage of we're looking at a higher price stock uh united healthcare closed today at 228.79 and it was up $4.21. So 228.79 was where the closing price of the stock is. The market is closed right now, so nothing is moving. So we're going to be looking at a very short-term butterfly, knowing that United Healthcare is going to announce earnings on the 16th of April, which is a few days away. And we're just going to do a two-day butterfly and hope that we get, uh, this, just because we've had some increased volatility recently, uh, there's a little bit of juice in these option contracts, but they're not containing the earnings. So uh, we don't expect that juice to stay into it, not to mention the fact we're going to have a huge rate of time decay on a two-day two butterfly. This butterfly is not meant to be a, a trade that you ride all the way to expiration, and we're not looking to double or triple our money. It's a very simple trade with a limited and known risk when we put it on, and we're mainly looking that the stock can just stay within that expected move over over the time period and you can get some large rates of time decay and maybe even a little bit of a volatility crunch. So let's set up the trade. That's the concept that's behind it. So United Healthcare, once again, closed at $228.79. We are looking at the very near term expiration, which is the April 6th expiration. If I go in and I look at uh, what the expected move is for that time period, 
it right now, just for the next two days, the at the money straddle is trading for about uh, five dollars. Let's call it a little less than five. I'm going to round up just to be safe. So I want to be at least five points wide on my spread. And because of a little bit of increased implied volatility right now, it's trading at a 25 percent implied right at the money. Uh, if I go out to the earnings, it's closer to 30. So there's a little bit of difference, but not a huge, huge amount. And that's mainly because the stock was really volatile today. So <clears throat> because of that, so we'll be buying the 222.50 call. That's 222.50. Then we're going to go seven points higher more than the expected move, right? And sell two of the 230 calls, 230. And then we'll go and buy our protective wing of the butterfly. And that is seven and a half points higher also. And that's the 237.50 or the 23750 call. They're all the April 6th expiration, which means you'll have a two full trading days based off of the fact that we are taping Options Playbook Radio on Wednesday, the 4th of April. Okay. So if we take this whole gaggle of options and we're doing it one by two by one, we have a standard butterfly that is centered around where the stock is at. Now the stock is, let's call it 229. So we could go down to the two, we could go a little bit bull, bullish and go up to the 230 like we did, or we could go down to the 227.50. But those are the only strikes that are available. I chose to be a little bit bullish and lean a little bit to the upside and go with the 230 call. That entire trade, that entire butterfly can be done for a net debit of $3.68 to the account. So that's going to be the maximum risk of this trade. Now, I'm highlighting that that is the midpoint right now. There's no, uh, there's never a guarantee that you're going to get the midpoint, but assuming we can fill at the midpoint, $3.68 on our paper trade would be our max risk. And our max upside would be the width of the spread, which is $7.50 minus $3.68 or $3.82. So we're really hoping that this stock over the next day will stay in a five point range. And if it does, we should be, we should be okay on this trade. Uh, the closer to 230, the better we're going to be, but we do not want the stock to trade within that big of a range. And we want time decay to take over at the end of the day. I'm more than likely going to, going to be out of this trade, no matter what really happens. If I hit a, one of my long strikes, either the 222.50 call on the downside or the 237.50 call on the upside, if it hits those strikes, I'm going to get out. I'm just not, if it moves the seven and a half points, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to close the trade. Now, if I can make 50 cents or a dollar on this trade, I'm also just going to get out no matter what. Let's call it 50 cents. 50 cents is a solid uh, profit on this trade if I can make that. So on the downside, I'd also like to limit my risk to about that. So if I'm looking to make 50 cents on the upside, I don't want to lose more than 50 cents on the downside. Now, I can fudge those numbers a little bit wherever you feel comfortable, but uh, 50 cents just from time decay in one day is a feasible, uh, a feasible amount to look for on a $3.68 trade, if I can make that type of money. And our max risk, once again, is going to be that $3.68 on a one by two by one butterfly. That's $368. And don't forget to add in commissions, especially on butterflies, because you got three legs. So you got to be aware of that on this specific trade. But in general, that is the trade that we're looking at. So let's recap it. Uh, United Healthcare is going to be announcing earnings on the 16th of April. Stocks have been volatile, so we've had an increase overall in United Healthcare option contracts and just the market in general. Um, so because of that, we see just looking at the VIX index, the volatility index on the S&P 500 index, you know, we're still upwards of 20 and higher on that. At one point in time, that was up to 20, 29, 30 uh, throughout the day. So very volatile VIX index today. 
So with that said, we decided we're going to try to take advantage of this pumped up volatility in the marketplace, and we're going to do a very short-term butterfly, and we're hoping that just the fact that United is going to be announcing earnings in a couple of weeks, that the market may tame down a little bit, and we might get some large time decay on this fairly expensive underlying United Healthcare Group. So we're going to buy the April 6, 222.50 call sell two of the same expiration 230 calls, and then buy one of the same expiration 237.50 call for our paper trade for this week. Our net debit to do the trade if we fill at the midpoint is $3.68 or $368. That turns out to be our max risk on the trade, and our max upside is $3.82. But once again, if you get that max upside, uh, you did something wrong because you should have been out of the trade way before that. Uh, you should never be be hoping that you're going to land right on the middle strike right at expiration. And that's the only time you can get that max upside. So that's it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. We'll come back next week and we'll look at how this trade is done. If you'd like to get a hold of me, please email me at the options guy at invest.ally.com. That's the options guy at invest.ally.com. And as always, thanks for listening. And we'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish in the money and all the ones you sold finish up. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Ally Invest. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to ally.com slash invest slash disclosures to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Ally Invest Securities, LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider or via questions at the options insider.com.